important. And actually, there's one more thing that I, that I really want to point out to you. And I'm going to select this type to do that. And actually, let me zoom back out for this. All right, so. No, 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 no. Actually, uh, yes. Peter's going to organize a. Uh, okay, watch, watch this because I think this is really important in Keynote because this drives me crazy. And a lot of people don't know that you can turn this off. This is what I consider a design faux pas. So I just selected this text and I'm, I've copied it. I want you to watch this text as I add more text to this. So I'm just gonna keep pasting this in. And you see how the, the text is getting smaller? When you add more text, you don't want the text to get smaller. What you want to do is reduce the amount of text. This is, to me, a design faux pas. This is awful. And this is the default behavior in Keynote. So I'm gonna take all of that out and show you where that is. So if I delete all of that text, it pops back up to the text size that I originally wanted it at. I don't want my text to shrink automatically. So with this text box selected, if I come up to text and I select layout, it brings this shrink text to fit. I think that is one of the most awful settings they could have ever put in here. And that comes with a little grain of salt because this is a useful feature. But if you have so much text and you're trying to show it on a slideshow, you're going to lose your audience. Edit your text. No one can read all of that or wants to read all of that. So this is my commentary, my opinion, but I think that this should be turned off most of the time. Next question. Uh, you, you can change the size of the text box. So if I just click to activate the bounding box, you can, uh, it, it misbehaves sometimes. Come on, stop misbehaving. Yeah, you can drag it. And no, yeah, this is dragging. Yeah, it's dragging so I can resize it. So with, just play with the size of the text box or increase the font. There, in some instances, there is no like set solution. Computers have a mind of their own in case you didn't know. And you have to decide what works and use what works. Okay, yes. The, um, the option is there. Right here, if you come over to line, you have endpoints that you can select. So this is, I can select an endpoint for the starting of the line, and I can select an endpoint for the end of the line, which I did. So they're all here in the inspector area. You're welcome. That is why you would see me mostly um, doing a demonstration from the Mac. The iPad versions do have some of the capabilities, but not all of them. So you are limited. And even if I, like I could um, save this up to iCloud where I could also edit it from my iPad. But to me, it's just so much easier and so much more robust to do this from the Mac that you would probably rarely, only if there was something that I knew was compatible on both sides that I would do on the iPad. <clears throat> so that's not saying that I wouldn't use it, I would, but only in a limited capacity. There are far more features on the Mac than on the iPad. Yes, you can do some things, yes. And, and you probably would be surprised at some of the things that you can do, but um, can because some of the animation that I created here, you can create some of the animation on the iPad. Uh, actually, no, it will transfer all of the characteristics. You just will not be able to edit all of the characteristics. You could, yes. Now, again, I would probably um, may maybe read up on seeing what transitions you create um, 
because again, not all of the transitions are available on the iPad, but um, some of them are. So uh, there probably is a list on the Keynote support site that may tell you what um, effects are not transferable that you cannot edit. So there's, it's somewhere in there. The problem is that I find that the Apple site, to me, just doesn't give you enough information. You, you have to really dig, and when you dig, you have to read the information. They don't give you a video of it. So there's, um, to me, there's a lot missing because you, you can create beautiful presentations. There are some things that I've seen that are absolutely amazing and that I've you know, just played around with and have been able to create that are just you know, mind-blowing, but you, you, you have to go through some of the other um, tutorials by other people or on my channel and to see how things are done. That you just don't see it on the Apple website. Well, thank you very much. You are quite welcome. Good to be here. Appreciate it. See you in two weeks. See you in two weeks. All right, I'll send. I'll stop sharing.